Hey everybody, Chris here at It's Mead Made, and today I am going to show you how to remove and change a nozzle on a CR10 uh, from Creality. I actually just got a Zodiac nozzle for my CR10 that I have been excited to put on. I actually won this on Instagram through a giveaway, and uh, they went ahead and sent it to me. It was kind of sweet. I can't believe that I keep winning stuff. Um, it's kind of crazy. But if you enter in a ton of different contests, I guarantee you're eventually going to win. And I think that's how my luck actually uh, finally came about. But super excited for this. And I'm going to go step by step on how to take off the nozzle and then how to install this new nozzle, the Zodiac nozzle, on my CR10. So one quick thing before we get started, uh, if you like what you're watching, please don't forget to hit subscribe and even like the video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything along the way, please leave a comment below and I will get back to you. Um, but other than that, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is actually remove this entire harness off of the belt. Um, this plate right here is going to stay and it's actually mounted from behind and let me show you what those look like. So on the back of your CR-10, there is this screw right behind the wheels is what you want to take off. And then there is this one on the left and this one on the right. These are the ones that you want to actually take off to be able to remove it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those now. Take the bottom one off. Okay, and that one on the bottom left is a lot longer, so you know which one is the left. And then the top one. All right, now we'll just remove this last one right here, and let me get the Allen key in there. And this is important, hold this while you're unscrewing it. And there we go. So now that's free, I'm trying to get that nut out. There we go, or that bolt. Okay. Now this is free, um, and you can see underneath here, there is my nozzle. So let's see the next step. So this is your hot end, and underneath here you have your nozzle. Um, you should have a plastic or rubbery coating on there. It should just peel off, and you it might stick a little, so you definitely want to make sure that you uh, don't rip it or tear it, because um, this one's already ripped a little bit. but. You don't have to take this off completely if you don't want to. Um, if you want to just leave it on there, you can um, for all intents purposes. So you can just wrap it back on. I'm actually going to leave it on. I'm just going to kind of fold it back. And now I'm going to go ahead and take this nozzle off. So your printer should have come with a really small wrench that if you've worked on your printer at all, you've realized that you've never used this. Um, it actually comes with two wrenches. This one, a double-ended that fits just about everything on your printer. And then this one, this one is your nozzle uh, wrench. I am went ahead and I am heating my hot end to uh, about 220 degrees. And what that does is this will actually loosen it up for me. And you can see some filaments actually using it out. So all I'm doing is now loosening this up. So once it gets close to there, I've got some pliers and I'm just going to take the rest of it off with the pliers because you do not want to touch this. Like be sure not to touch this. Um, it is hot. So there we go. I have taken it off and just setting that down. I have a glass bed so I can just set it there and it'll be fine. And and now you can see that there it is. Um, and it is ready for the next part. So now I've taken my nozzle out of the bag and as you can see, it's a 0.04 nozzle. And then it also came with some thermal conductive paste that I'm going to put on the threads. And the nice thing about this is if anybody has ever put it on uh, dealt with a computer or anything like that like building computers this stuff usually comes with like a cpu um and it just helps pull the heat um so or can you know conduct the heat um and what this is going to do is 
make sure that from the nozzle, like I'm gonna put it on the threads, the heat will carry through easily. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It has got a little plastic on it. Now I just gotta take it off. Okay. So now I'm just going to put a little bit on here around the threads. And there we go. And if you don't have this, it's not the end of the world. This is just one of those nice things that Zodiac uh, gives you. And now since my hot end is uh, still really hot, I'm going to grab this with my pliers, grab the hot end, and pull back. You gotta watch out, this is hot. And then I am going to insert this. And I'm just turning it nice and slowly. Getting it in there really nicely. And if some of that thermal paste gets off, that's fine. Not the end of the world because there's enough getting in there. And once you get it tight, Um, you actually get to use your other wrench now that your printer came with. It fits that. So tighten it down nice, nice and snug, and then back it off three quarters of a turn, and then right back. And that will actually help seat your nozzle. Um, it'll give you a nice hard, uh, or a nice tight grip on that. Then we can just kind of push this silicone back on it. So now the nozzle's on, the silicone's on, and this is still hot, so I'm gonna shut down the printer. And I am going to let this cool down for a minute before I reinstall this on the printer. Okay, now, now that this is uh, cooled down and it's not as hot, uh, I am gonna go ahead and put these screws back on. So I'm gonna set this, let that hang for a second, get my nut ready. And go ahead, push that through and have it ready. And then you can see where that goes on the top right there. and just start turning until it catches and I've got it. So I don't want to torque this down or anything like that. I just want to get it get it on there, then I'll come back to it. Then the next stop is the bottom right here. All right, now I'm just going back through and retightening, making sure everything's nice and snug. And the top one And you're probably wondering why I don't just turn this around. And the thing is, is I've actually got my CR-10 installed in this shelf. And it is a pain in the butt to get off of this shelf. So I do everything here. If you can actually turn around and get those to those easily, uh, more power to you. But that's why I hope you can understand where these things are. I tried to show them, but uh, tightening them down, I can't really show. But there we go. So that is it. That is how to install a nozzle on a CR-10. Um, a lot of them are very similar. Uh, the same process can work on just about any 3D printer. Some of the heads you have to take completely off and maybe the housing you have to take off. Um, like for example, uh, for example, like an Ender 3, you actually take this box off and then you're exposed to the actual nozzle itself. So it's pretty much the same process. You can see that there's the silicone box, there's the nozzle. It's all pretty much the same except for what you're actually taking off. Like you actually have to unscrew these for uh, Ender 3 and an Ender 3 Pro. So an Ender 3, you can see down here, exact same. So when it comes to 
uh, nozzles, they all pretty much work the same. Uh, just making sure that you heat it up, watch the temperatures, um, and that you're not going to hurt yourself or burn yourself. Trust me, I've done it before. No judgment if you accidentally do, I just hope you don't. All right, so hope you've enjoyed this, me installing a Zodiac nozzle. Uh, I'd also like to just say thank you to Zodiac for sending me this nozzle. Um, be sure to check them out. I'll put a link to them in the description. Um, if you've liked this video, please subscribe and don't forget to like the video. If you want, jump over to Instagram. I'm super active over there. My handle is It's Mead Made. And uh, feel free to message me and uh, chat. And other than that, I really just hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.